more than just a placeholder for cash. Poker chips are symbols of power, risk, and fortune. They glide across felt tables, stack neatly in towers, and carry a weight that players can feel in their hands and in their fate. A single chip can mean the difference between a legendary win or an empty-handed exit. But have you ever wondered what really goes into making these chips? Why do they feel so different from everyday tokens? And how do casinos ensure they're impossible to counterfeit? Today, we are going behind the scenes to uncover the engineering, security, and craftsmanship that make poker chips more than just plastic and clay. Before standardized poker chips, gamblers wagered with whatever they had on hand. Gold nuggets, silver coins, even personal belongings. But as you can imagine, this wasn't exactly the most efficient or peaceful system. Disputes over the value of a nugget versus a coin could turn a high-stakes game into an all-out brawl. By the early 19th century, gambling houses began using uniform betting tokens to bring order to the chaos. These early chips were made from ivory, bone, clay, and even wood, each offering a more consistent and recognizable currency for the gaming tables. But as gambling evolved, so did the need for something more durable and harder to counterfeit. That's when composite chips changed the game. From a mix of clay and composite materials, these chips weren't just about function. They were designed to feel solid in the hand, satisfying to stack, and difficult to replicate. Casinos quickly embraced them for all games beyond just poker. They began adding unique designs, colors, and security features to ensure every chip on the floor was authentic and accounted for. From hand-carved tokens to today's high-tech, tamper-proof chips, these little discs have played a huge role in shaping the casino experience. And they're far more than just placeholders for cash. Most authentic casino chips are compression-molded chips, often mistaken for being made entirely of clay. But here's the truth. No chip since the 1950s has been 100% clay. Instead, manufacturers use a special composite mix, blending sand, chalk, and clay-like material. Yeah, similar to what's found in cat litter. This mix ensures the chips are durable, yet smooth, providing that signature weight and feel players expect. The balance is crucial. Too soft and they wear down quickly. Too hard and they lose that satisfying grip and texture. Once the composite material is ready, it's placed into a compression mold, a special machine that shapes the chip. The process applies intense pressure and heat to compact the material, ensuring that the chip is dense, strong, and long-lasting. Each manufacturer has its own secret formula for how much pressure and heat they use, but the goal is always the same, a smooth, perfectly shaped poker chip. This step is critical. It determines everything from how the chip feels in your hand to how it stacks on a table. A properly molded chip will glide effortlessly across felt and snap cleanly into a stack, ready for action at the tables. You've probably noticed that real poker chips have different colored markings on the edges. These aren't just painted on decoration. They're an essential part of both the aesthetics and security of the chip. Real casino-grade chips use a physical inlay process to create these unique edge spots. A portion of the chip's material is physically removed and a different colored composite is inserted in its place. There are two ways to do this. Each chip can be individually cut and filled with a new composite color and pressed back into shape. Or a manufacturer modifies an entire cylinder of material, removing and replacing sections before slicing it into individual chips. Both techniques ensure that edge spots aren't just surface level color changes, but fully embedded into the structure of the chip itself. This method also makes casino chips far more difficult to counterfeit since replicating these detailed inlays requires specialized machinery. Now that the chip's edge spots are set, it's time for its most recognizable feature, the inlay. This is the printed design in the center of the chip, where casinos display their logos, betting denominations, and custom artwork. More than just branding, the inlay is also a built-in security measure, helping casinos identify real chips from fakes at a glance. Rather than using cheap stickers that can peel off or be replaced, casino chip inlays are made from high-quality printed paper, covered with a thin protective plastic film to prevent wear. In a casino, chips aren't just about function. They're carefully color-coded to represent different monetary denominations. While exact values can vary by location, most casinos follow a standardized system. Chips are commonly made in 1, 5, 25, 
100, 500, 1000 and 5000 dollar denominations, all with specific assigned colors. Beyond these, some casinos customize their chips with unique colors and denominations, making them distinctive and harder to counterfeit. High stakes rooms and poker tournaments often use special edition chips, further elevating the exclusivity of big money games. Now that the inlays and edge spots are in place, the chips go back into a mold for another round of compression. This time, the goal is to permanently bond everything together and ensure a smooth, even surface. The combination of heat and pressure fuses the materials, making the chip solid and durable. Before a single chip makes it to the casino floor, it has to pass a rigorous series of tests. Each chip is checked for size, weight, balance and color consistency. Casino chips aren't just about looks, they must be consistent across every table. Standard US casino chips weigh 10 grams, but internationally they can range from 8 to 16 grams depending on regulations. Any chip that doesn't meet these specifications is rejected. It's either remade or destroyed, because even the slightest imperfection could disrupt gameplay or raise security concerns. To the untrained eye, a casino chip looks simple. Just a colorful token with a number in the center. But in reality, it's a fortress of security features designed to outsmart even the most skilled counterfeiters. One security feature is UV markings. Completely invisible to the naked eye, these markings only appear under ultraviolet light, a built-in secret code used by casinos to verify authenticity. Then there's micro-text printing, tiny microscopic lettering embedded into the design. Too small to read with the human eye, but impossible to duplicate without precision printing equipment. Some high-stakes casinos take security even further, embedding RFID or radio frequency identification tags inside their most valuable chips. With these chips, casinos can track every move in real time, from the moment they hit the table to when they're cashed out. If a stolen or fake chip appears in the system, the casino knows instantly. These security measures make counterfeiting nearly impossible, ensuring that every chip in play is 100% authentic and accounted for. Now ready for the casino floor, each chip is then stacked and counted with automated sorting machines, ensuring that casinos receive the exact number of chips per order. Standardized chip trays hold the stack securely, preventing movement during shipping. The stacks are then shrink-wrapped to ensure no chips are lost or swapped before they reach the casino. Once packaged, the chips are boxed, labeled and sent directly to casinos worldwide, where they'll soon be sliding across felt tables, stacking up in towers and changing hands with every bet placed. It might seem like a lot of work for something so small, but casino chips aren't just pieces of plastic and clay, they're the lifeblood of the gambling world. Every stack, every bet and every high stakes showdown relies on chips that are perfectly balanced, secure and built to last. Because in a place where fortunes change with the flip of a card, even the smallest details matter. If you love learning how the things we use every day are made, then stick around. There's always more to uncover. Hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss an industrial craft feature. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.